to Nicholas, dreams come easily. He weaves them with words and music. By day, he's a trainee journalist. By night, he's a star in the making. His home state was called the Scotland of the East by the British. The individualistic Khasi tribals named their homeland Meghale, abode of the clouds. Shillong is located in a remote corner of India. Still, it finds itself wired into the global satellite culture. Inspired by Bob Dylan and Sting, in fusion with their own tribal rhythms, where do these youngsters belong? Say hello and say hi. Ooh, I know that they do. Do. Ooh. Rock your body right. Back streets, back, all right. Mega media shows, corporate sponsored events, promotional gigs, online shopping, fashion blitz. It's the feel-good philosophy, a new nirvana. For Steffi and Bada, fitness is serious business. It is more than a means to looking good. I just love Michael Jordan. I wish I could play like him. Even me, I like Michael Jordan. He's handsome also. <laughs> <laughs> Daughters among the matrilineal Khasi, Garo and Lakshadweep Islands communities are considered special. Honouring the mother right, they are cherished by both family and society. During the long summer months, Raj Gupta sells lemon drinks through New Delhi streets. His modest seasonal earnings keep the home fires burning. Towards his children's education, he can only contribute invaluable moral support. His daughter, Neelam, is a child of the age of information technology, a student of software programming, a field any business futurist would approve of. <laughs> Anjana and Neelam just banked this year's college fees tutoring little neighborhood children. Ever since the first multinational fast food joint opened with the traditional breaking of the coconut, Young students occupy both sides of the cash counters. As the all-American burger turns vegetarian and instant noodles get spicier, urban India's young join the global workforce. Global dreams know no national boundaries. Never before have Indian students had such a choice in education and career options. Kavita is a recent economics graduate from Canada. My father always told me, you know, you're really lucky to be in a position where you have within your grasp the East and the West. And if you're sensible, you'll take the good from the East and the good from the West. Yeah, cause I've got one hand in my pocket and the other one's playing the piano.